I'm at the shed at my house right now, and it is July 25th, so it's almost August. And I think it's time I get my motorcycle going. I just had a, I had a knee surgery a couple months ago, and I think it's time that I get my bike going and try to get it going, uh, get it ready to ride again. So since I probably put away in November, and I haven't touched it since almost August, so it's been a very long time. I started it here and there, but the tires are flat. The front tire had zero PSI in there. So I had this little gauge, and this is what I do first ride of the year. I always check the tire pressure. I checked the tire pressure at the beginning of the year ever since uh, I had a flat tire in the rear, and I went around the block, and I put the bike down first time, first ride of the year. So since then, I always check my tire pressure. So the front tire is zero PSI in it. And I was able to get 10 PSI in it with that. And it took me about 20 minutes. And, and that's a pain in the ass. Uh, that's a poverty spec compressor. My other compressors are at my garage. And I don't feel like loading the bike up, which I can't because my pickup truck is broken. And I can't bring it here, put the ramps up, and then bring the bike to the garage. So I was going to buy an air tank, so I bought this. A nice Milwaukee air compressor. We'll see if we can fit the hose between the spokes and see how this works. I took it out of the box and just shoved the battery in there. The battery should be charged. I went to my garage to grab the battery. A lot easier than moving a whole compressor. So I'm going to try and pump the air up. And get Nice and tight, 41 PSI, let's see how this thing goes, uh, it's the first time turning it on, there's 13 on there, Forty one we need, Seemed too easy. It took about 20 seconds. Yeah, let's uh, get rid of this. Good. So let's do the back now. Okay, we're hooked up to the back. Can you imagine we try to pump that up and it'll be here for a month? What do you want? So I'm going to button this up, give this thing a ride, and then maybe I'll show you some of that. But, I'm not really convinced that this thing's that good yet, so I have a pretty good project that we're going to test this compressor out on. So, that might be later today, it might be tomorrow, so we'll be back in a minute. So, I'm at the old orange truck here, and I just bought this portable jump starter. I got the key. There's nothing. So, let's do this. So, I just held the button here on the side for a second. Let's see what she does. Nothing. I got nothing. I'm gonna try and figure this out. Okay, I had some power. Yeah, power again. It's not. It wasn't making a good enough connection anywhere. Let's try her again. So fuck.
It cranked. in here I got my foot on the pedal a little bit let's try and get a charge in the battery it keeps dying the truck keeps stalling out I, I just think they the battery's just that dead so let's see if we can't get a, a charge into that it could idle but it worked I feel like it didn't spin over as fast as it should but that could be just because the battery's so stone dead this thing hasn't started in over nine months but we are charging, so maybe the battery will take something and maybe it'll idle here. So, it's stalled out again. There's that safety switch that's on that uh, jump pack. So I think once it detects it making some kind of voltage, it turns it off, so you have to get out and push the button on the side again. It's kind of annoying, but we'll see what happens. We'll let it run for a minute here and see what happens. It wants to stall out again. battery light on I have my foot just barely on it and it's staying running but it then purrs like a kitten it hasn't run in a long time and it's just idling well not idling but this thing hasn't run in a long time and it's just purring real nice uh, let me see, let's see if it moves Brake line. I don't think the brakes are that soft. No, I hear it. It's leaking from somewhere. What a fucking shame. Well, here she is. Found the brake line. It's over here. Leaking. It might be the caliper or the rubber hose in there. But she pulled forward nice and easy. Nothing feels locked up. You see it right back there. That's the fuel lines. The fuel lines are rotted on the other side and I have them rubber hosed. Fuel lines are rotted just under here. Oh, this door's stuck. Oh, fuck, they do that. So, I was actually going to see if these fuel lines fit. That truck, because I'm doing brake lines in there, ironically. Let me know if you think we should uh, make this project and kind of restore it to its former glory so the jump pack here worked fine and then so did this and I just want to see I just want to move the truck see what was going on if it started up it's been a really long time but I was thinking maybe making that truck a project and making it not a pile of crap anymore uh, just doing like a little restore on it maybe turbo it have some fun with it it just sits out there so, I have a couple ideas what I want to do with it, but I don't know, maybe I'll get to it, maybe I won't, but I just wanted to fill the tires up and start up, move it just a little bit. Uh, I'm going to try and see if I can't find a second-hand battery for it, shove it in there, let it idle, probably fix that brake line maybe, or see exactly where it's coming from, but I just wanted to do a quick thing on that and uh, get started working on this thing. Uh, it's a miserable job. This truck shouldn't be broken, but it is. That's getting brake lines and frame uh, painting and greasing it doing full service on it so that might be a video it might not be so thanks remember to like comment subscribe thank you